Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use M Turbo Filter, which hasn't been released yet, to create format filters. Now you might be wondering, what is a format filter? A format filter is one that will simulate the human vocal tract to make vowel sounds like a, ah, e, u, a, etc. And so you can use this to filter things like white noise or even like a saw wave, etc. And you can almost get an ah sound or an o oh sound, etc. So I'm going to show you how you can do that today. So I have M Sound Factory here. I have just a basic kind of like super saw sound here with a slight filter on it, like this. Now we don't have to really filter this out. I'm just doing this, I don't know, just because I don't like some of that high end. So I think it sounds better this way. And there are actually some format filters here. I'll give you an idea here. Sounds more like this. I actually can't hear it that well in there. So I'd have to turn up the probably character and the resonance like this. See if this helps without making it too loud. So I think through that, you can kind of hear what it's doing. But we don't want to do that. We want to move it back here like this. And let's get to making our own format filters. Now you're probably saying like, okay, you have some in here. Why am I making other ones? And the reason is, is because we have more vowel sounds than this. And we're going to try to make one that's a bit more adjustable, I think. So what we're going to do is go into M Turbo Filter here. Ooh, I already made some. I'll show you those afterwards. We have blank here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have three low pass filters in parallel. This, and I'll just add a little bracket here, wrong way. There we go. And this will allow us to put things in parallel. This P stands for parallel. I don't have to write everything out. And the first one I want to do is just put low pass filter there. And I'll put an ending bracket. I'm sorry, I'm using a like Japanese keyboard, so it's always difficult to figure out where this stuff is supposed to be. Uh, where are my brackets? There we go. I got one. I should just, you know, stop being cheap and buy an American keyboard, but that's what we're getting now. Um, from here, what we need is what frequency we're going to use here. Now we don't want this moving up and down. The formats are specific frequencies and we want to stick to them fairly closely. What I want to do from here is <clears throat> find the format frequency. Now you can look that up by looking up uh, format synthesis. And if you look on Google, you'll see a bunch of them. And these aren't always 100%, depending on the person, they might vary, but I think this is a good place to start. So for this one, let's start with the aw sound here. We have 570, 840, and 2410. So let's start with 570. I'm going to put that in here. Use our parentheses. 570, this is going to be our frequency. That's good, but you'll probably see some problems here. Let's see. Actually, let's do the other ones too. So just copy it. Make sure I put a semicolon there so it knows all these are in parallel. Semicolon and paste it again here. Now, if we look back, it's 840 and 2410. 840 and 2410. Pop this out. And I actually have a keyboard hooked up, so let's play it with the keyboard. I might have to move this down. Now this is sounding the way I want it, which is good. It's not being affected by the frequency and I can turn the cue up to make it have that O sound or the aw sound. Just like in bot. Perfect. The problem is the default cue is going to be here. Don't hear anything. Now we want to change that. <clears throat> Let's look at some ways to change that. 
First of all, we can put a semicolon in here and we can adjust the Q factor. You might be wondering, well, how do you know that's a Q factor? In here, you can read about the syntax for each of these different modules. But if we look down here, you see low pass, and this applies for the other ones too. The first parameter is gonna be our frequency. The second one will be the Q value. Third will be the gain, if it has it. Low pass probably won't, but something like a uh, maybe peak filter will. And uh, you can also put things in the feedback or, or you can adjust the analog. I don't need to adjust the analog really, and I don't really need to adjust the feedback. So I'm just gonna use the first two, the frequency, put a semicolon, and the second one's gonna be the Q value. So by default, it will just be like this. Our Q value will adjust or affect the Q. Now we want to keep that, but the problem is this default value. We don't want that. What we want is we want this to have a, I guess, a stronger throw, or maybe we don't want it to. Down here, I want this to still sound like something, even on 30%, which is the default. So what I can do is use some math here. Let's find, uh, how do I make an exponent? There we go. Q to the, when I tried this before, I found 0.3 to be good, but, and you see like, oh, part of it's sticking up. And if we look at this as I move it up and down, So here, when the Q value is about like 20 or so, it's still kind of working. At 30 default, it sounds fine. So what I want to do is just copy and paste this right into the other one. So now it's only working on that 570 frequency, but we want it to work on each of these here, like this. So now if I play it, Perfect, that's what we want. Now, I think this is almost perfect, but there's something else we can do. Now, you notice as we move up, these ones are sounding less like that awe sound. And so we might need to adjust them a little bit. We want to keep this kind of, I don't know, uh, adjustable for people. So what I'm going to do is add something here. So let's use the character to adjust these values up and down. So I can add a plus here. I can remember where it is. Uh, plus, and let's adjust it by the character. I don't know what I should move it by. Uh, let's say, two, ah, let's say 200. Oh, actually, let's do this. One, plus C. I don't know how well this will work, but let's look on here to see how much this moves up and down, especially this first band here. Not at all, so it means I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's try... I don't want time C, actually. That probably should be multiplied. No, sorry. One plus. Okay, let's try it again. To be honest, that's probably too much. I did something like slightly similar or slightly different in another one, which I think works better. But you get the idea. We'll look at that in a second. But we can copy this, copy, make sure I add it to the right part, paste, and same thing here. So by moving that, we can now move the character to move this up and down slightly. And you can even modulate this if you want. And 
And of course, since this is in, inside M Sound Factory, there's a lot we can do here. <clears throat> so if you've thought like, oh, you know what? I kind of want to move this up uh, depending on the <clears throat> key. You can do that in here by using the key, you know, well, we'll here, key scale if you want, or just key. So there's a lot we can do with that there. I'll show you, I actually did this a different way, which maybe was actually better. I'll show you the version I did before. I have all these, and I made quite a few here like this. Oh no, I did do it the same way, okay. Yeah, so I just did it the exact same way here. Now, I probably want to save this because it took a while to do, but as you see, I have not only just one of these, but I have it for lots of different formats. So hopefully in the future, you'll see all of these inside M Sound Factory and in M Turbo Filter. Now, M Turbo Filter is not only inside M Sound Factory, but it also is a standalone plugin. So you'll be able to use it with both. So whatever synthesizer you want to use it with, you can. Or even normal musical instrument. So let's go through a few of these. last one yeah there we go so i have the male and female ones these are sometimes a little bit different uh, i think the male ones came out a little bit better than the female ones but in general i'd use the male ones for lower sounds and the female ones for higher pitch sounds but uh, also you can use these on white noise so i use the oscillator here but white noise sounds like this And of course, mess with the character to find the right sound for you. And if we turn this back on, I'll show you how it sounds with a chord. So we already have a chord going through here. It sounds like this. And with the format filter on. So you can hear a difference. I think these format filters are cool. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me any questions or comments down below, and I'll try to get these in M Turbo Filter so you can play with them yourself. But be sure to check out all the other plugins at MelderProduction.com. Until next time, see you.